All right, I want to show you this program that I came across a little while back. Hadn't messed with it a whole lot, and um, unfortunately, it is a payware. You do have to uh, buy it, and it is pretty expensive. I don't remember exactly how much it is, but it's expensive enough to where I haven't purchased it yet, even though I like the program. But you can download it and use the free demo. The free demo is, has full function, except it won't let you save the output file. All right, so let me show you what this does. It's basically an all-in-one um, upscaler, denoiser, and um, AI object remover. Now, as far as the upscaling and so forth, we've all seen AI upscaling no big deal but the thing I like about it is the object removing tool I'm gonna drag this in it's just a picture of um, my cat standing in front of the door now <clears throat> what I'm gonna do I'm going to remove the cat using AI now it's going through and removing the noise and so forth which ain't no big deal you can't see a big huge difference it looks a little bit better but it ain't no biggie now I'm gonna to go to the remove function and I'm going to basically just um, highlight the parts of this cat I'm just going to overlap into the background just a little bit basically just highlight around the cat make sure to get his tail now it will pop up that warning right there large mask size because it it wants more background information to go by and the bigger your mask is the assumption is the less um, background information it has to go by and the more it has to generate in order to remove like in this case the cat so I'm just basically highlighting every bit of the cat and I mean you can change the brush size but you don't really have to There you go. Basically, the entire cat is uh, selected or highlighted, and I've always found it works way better. Go up to quality, bump the quality all the way up. Sure, it will take a little bit longer, but not a lot longer, but it does a much better job. And then once you have that selected, just click remove. Now, this is going to take maybe a minute and this is using uh, uh, a 3080 Ti to power this but it I, it will likely do a pretty good job because see how you have the background there's a clear pattern in the carpet the door follows a clear pattern even outside the carpet out there follows a clear pattern the bricks follows a clear pattern so it's easier for an AI to duplicate it now in my opinion it done a pretty good job now is it perfect no because look on this part on the glass right here this line should be straight this line should be straight you should this needs to be touched up a little bit and there should only be one line right here instead of two but and this should be connected that that stuff you could touch up easily in pretty much any photo editor and all this other stuff was duplicated with pretty good accuracy or at least believable accuracy I mean if you just used just that right there looks pretty good a little touch-up work and it would be really good but if I was to try to do this just with you know old school Photoshop it would never be this good but I could probably still do it just it would take me an hour but with this 
it takes what 30 seconds to a minute maybe <clears throat> but anyway I figured I'd point that out to you <coughs> I'm gonna put a link to this in the description of the video that way if you want to try it out uh, like I said I think it's kind of interesting it's pricey though I, I don't remember how much it is so I'm not gonna say what I th think I remember it being but I do remember it being pricey but anyway that's it later people